Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Ocean Avenue here in Boynton Beach getting ready to pass over the Intercoastal Waterway and I just want to make a quick one here. This, this video is about comments. I can't answer them all. I'm trying. In fact, <laughs> believe me, I don't mean this when I say it. It's kind of interfering with my day because I can't put the phone down. I, I keep thinking about it. They come in as fast as I can answer them. And what's really good is you know that people feel they, they want to say something to me. And there's such good comments. And man, I, I'm trying to answer them. I don't want to get into the disparaging comments. There's just one or two. Those kind of stick in my head because they, you know, people are just so quick to be judgmental or, or say something, you know, without articulating it. I mean, I have a lot of comments where people disagree, but there's a compliment in there or they disagree articulately as I would, but some people just don't have any cooth. <laughs> so um, whatever, you know, you just move on. They're just, maybe they had a bad day or, you know, they're unhappy about something else that happened earlier that day. Or maybe they just get through watching a video and it's a buildup. Maybe they just get through watching Fox News. <laughs> don't watch the news. Turn that crap off. Oh my gosh, when I finally decided to do that, it was kind of like quitting drinking. I quit uh, watching the news a few times. I started back up. Remember during the election uh, year when Trump was running and everybody, even people that don't even follow politics, everybody was listening to politics. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody, young, old, it was, you know, hate, love, divide, conquer, that whole world. Everybody was on Twitter. Mm, you know, anger and yeah, I, I get it. I get, I get it. I did it. Oh, that was an ugly side of Sarasota Tim that you would have never have wanted to know. I said and thought some very ugly things. And you know what? It wasn't my fault. It was my fault for letting it get into my head and watching that crap. But those people are experts at brainwashing you and dividing you and telling you what you want to hear. You turn this channel on because you lean in this direction or you think, you know, from your friends or parents or just what you started thinking on your own, that you need to go this way. And then the other is the other way. And then so, you know, you either watch CNN or you watch Fox and you hate one or the other and you hate the people you think that listen to one and not the other and you hate the people you think that vote for one and not the other. That's no way to live. That is no way as the United States of America and Americans need to be. I mean, we lost that back in the Civil War, didn't we? But that's their, that's their idea. They laugh at night. They get together, man. They're walking around that big Congress chamber all together. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, we got them going, don't we? Yeah, we got a free life. And we don't pay for nothing, and we don't do our own laundry, and we don't drive a car, and we don't have to go grocery shopping, and we don't pay for medical bills, and we don't have to worry about our money, and we got pallets of cash being delivered to us from our uh, drug lords and uh, from our special interests and all that. You know they're all on the take. They're all a bunch of hucksters. They're used car salesmen. They're lawyers. Most of them are lawyers, you know. And, you know, they're lawmakers. So they're all hucksters. They're all about billable hours. They're all about deception. They're all about, uh, what's the best way to describe them that I used to say all the time? Um, Self-preservation. Well, they'll say whatever they got to do to get elected, to keep that free life going. You know, and I'll quote Trump. Trump said one time, and I'm not necessarily a Trump fan. I don't hate him either. I, I think he's in that same pot is all of them. I probably just offended a bunch of people. Believe me, I don't want any, I don't like any of them. I vote. I lean towards conservative. I'm a Christian. You know, I don't go for, uh, you know, all that crazy stuff. But Trump said something one time 
You know, that's how he got popular. He kind of speaks like the average guy. And he said they get elected, they get in there, they see these big, tall ceilings and these big libraries and these beautiful hallways, and they get in there and they say, I'm never leaving here. So where do I sign? What do I got to do? I'll join you guys. I'm in the club. That's what it is. So when you sit there at night, if you're watching the media, that's all they're doing is you're listening to an echo chamber. And you sit there and you get your blood pressure going, you get riled up, and you think, there's a bigger plan. They got think tanks. They got, and this was not a conspiracy. This is, this is how it is. I mean, if you take it down to the minute analogy, uh, like when I was in the car business, and I, I would tell people, and just like they tell them today, hey, I'm on your side. If you don't buy this car, I don't make any money. I'm fighting for you. And then he goes into the sales manager, you know, fighting for you, right? And he tells the salesman, and the salesman says, what's going on? He goes, oh, I got them going, man. I got them believing that I'm fighting for them. How much can we make on this car? What's my commission going to be? How much gross profit can we hold? Let's go in there and make them fight for another nickel off so they think in their mind they really stole this car. Because a good deal is not the deal you actually get. A good deal is the deal you think you get. That's what a good deal is. So, how did I get on this? I don't know. But anyway, the best thing you can do, besides collecting your Social Security at 62, <laughs> except for that one reason, remember, is to have happiness in this life is to express love to be kind. The golden rule, treat others like you want to be treated. Even when you're making a comment on YouTube, you know, before you just, you know, and it's, I don't get many. I don't even know why I'm mentioning it because it's hardly worth mentioning, but I've gotten them. You know, think first. You know, you don't know me. I don't know you. So, you know, or just move on. If you can't say anything nice, like my mom used to say, don't say anything at all. But use the golden rule. Treat others like you want to be treated. That's the first thing of being happy. The second thing is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not preaching here. Keep it to yourself. Read your Bible in your own privacy. I don't even advocate going to church. A lot of them guys are crooked too. Uh, they got so many different religions. And uh, there's this one, Baptist and Protestant and Catholic and you know Presbyterian and all that. There can only be one. And that's the Holy Canon, that book. Read it for yourself. Don't let somebody else interpret what they say it's you check it you read it and, and the bible teaches too that if you read it if god speaks to your heart he'll open your eyes and your ears to understand what he's trying to say he only reveals himself to those that he know that he knows that want to know it but when you know him your life is way different you, you know you see the reciprocation you get because he returns it to you if you're kind to somebody else you do them a favor you help them out you give them something, you do something for them, you compliment them, you are rewarded from him. You don't get it back from them. It's not like I did for you, now give me something. It's not like that. He sees what you do, and if you're a good child, he's the father, you'll be rewarded. And when you don't listen to that news and let that be your God, and let that rule your life and make your mind up about everything and walk around with all this opinion and anger the better off you'll be just be calm be nice and you know treat others like you want to be treated it's a very simple life it's very amazing i mean i love it when you know you you are i'm an extrovert and i talk to people here at the inlet uh at the grocery store i'm doing those prom uh, promotions and i like putting my best foot forward i like you know thinking people, I'll say, hey, would you like a free sample? No, that's all right. Thank you. You know, I say thank you. And then I've seen some people turn around, well, let me try it. You know, people, you know, they they, they sense a kindness and they're like, wait a minute, that guy was kind. Let me, let me, let me just, go, let me try that. Or if you meet somebody and you're talking to them and, you know, you start talking about where you're from, it's amazing what a small world it is. And you get on common ground with somebody. You're not going to talk politics. You're not even going to talk religion. 
you're just going to be benevolent. You're just going to be nice to one another. And you're going to see no matter what their skin color, what their age, what their origin, people are human beings. And they all respond and they all have the same feelings. They all want to be loved. They all hurt when they, when they get cut. They all bleed. And they have feelings. And um, be sensitive to that. But uh, there's no stopping me now. <laughs> Once he gets going. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little preachy of a video. I'm sorry. But if you got anything out of it, you know, if it inspired you, I inspired myself. I was just talking to myself there. And uh, I did, before I go, I started out wanting to talk about the comments. It seems like the ones that I need to answer, I haven't answered yet. And I'm leaving you hanging. And it bothers the heck out of me. That's why I can't put my phone down. Oh, there's my phone. Anyway, everybody, you're wonderful. All 15,000 beautiful souls out there. Really, the, the comments that I get are so, so good. That's what I want to keep trying to drive home. I just can't answer them all. I don't want you to feel insulted or uh, that I ignored it or I'm getting too big for my britches or anything like that. I'll get around to them and you can comment on the next video and, and I'll hit you on that one. But it's not like I'm not looking or caring about these comments. It's just, I, I, I want to read the next one so fast, I don't have time to answer. And my answers want to be somewhat at length, somewhat, you know, personable, not like, 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 or send you a heart, loved your comment, didn't even read it. That's what a lot of them do, you know. They get thousands of comments, but they should just tell people I'm not going to be able to answer them like I'm telling you sometimes. They shouldn't just do that. So anyway, guys, you know what I got to do right now when I walk? You know what I'm going to be doing when I walk? I'm going to crush it! <laughs>